In each of these problems, we're asked to change the given fractions to decimals, and we can do that by using the mathematical operation of division. So 3 fourths, the first one, we can rewrite as 3 divided by 4. And if you use your calculator to divide 3 by 4, you get 0 0.75 exactly. So 3 fourths can be represented by 0 0.75 and that is rounded, I mean, that is exact to the hundredth place. For part B, if we divide 52 by 10 using our calculator, so I'm going to write it here, 52 divided by 10, we get 5.2. Now that's not written to the nearest hundredth, but with decimals, what we can do is add ending zeros without changing the accuracy of the number. So 5.2 and 5.20 are the same, but 5.20 is to the hundredths place, whereas 5.2 is to the tenths place. So I can write 52 over 10 as 5.20. The third one, if I take 1 over 3 as a fraction, I want to write that as a decimal. If I divide 1 by 3 on my calculator, I'm going to get 0 point and then a whole bunch of 3's. In fact, we say 3 repeating. So it's 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, never, never ending. So if I want to round this to the nearest hundredth, that's going to be 0 0.33, because all the values are threes. They're not going to change and go up to a 4. The last one, 10 and 3 sevenths, let's make this an improper fraction. That's 10 times 7 plus 3, 73 over 7. If I divide that on my calculator, I'm going to get a number and I'm going to write down as many decimals as I can so I can round that to tenths. So this is already rounded, no, excuse me, rounded to hundreds. So if I want to round this to hundreds, 10.42857, I'm going to look in the hundreds place. That's the where I want to round to. The number, the digit to the right is an 8, so I'm going to round up to 10.43.